Have I ever told you about my son? Remarkable boy. Quite smart. He was born in a robot factory in the Solana Galaxy. But to be precise, he was created much farther away. My son's name is XJ0461, but the universe knows him as Clank. The Zoni are inquiring about our progress. Ah, how much longer must we pretend to be friends with those twits? Sire does not remember. You must fix. Yes, I'm fixing. I'm fixing. Stand by for sister board scan. All right, let's see. Favorite colors green. Favorite numbers 83 billion and 4.7. Blah, blah, blah. Access denied. Neural safeguard activated. No! 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 Locked out again! It's in here, Lawrence. Somewhere in this brain lies the key to the Orvis chamber. No, Orvis chamber. Your soniness. If we could take but a peek at the chamber. No, Orvis chamber. Chamber is for sire only. Very well. Then I think it's time our partnership came to an end. Say hello to... Not the hypersonic brainwave scrambler. The hypersonic brainwave scrambler! <laughs> Apologies, sir. I should have mentioned... The equipment is especially susceptible to sonic weaponry. Backup generator activated. He's awake! Stop him! doing here. I'll explain everything as soon as you're safe, sir. But right now, we need to calibrate your ocular response processes. Try looking at the ocular scanner on your left. Good. Okay, now look at the one on the right. Got it. All right, look at the scanner above you. One more beneath you. Got it! You're recalibrated! Now, keep moving! I'll hold them off as long as I can! Breach detected in Sector 6. Dispatching time. Time anomalies detected on planet Jessica. Sir, the registry shows that the number of Zoli has dwindled from 117,000 to 205. Zoli! Come back! I was only kidding! Come on! There's a perfectly logical explanation for that. But let's save it for another time. Way 
Tracer! You have to move! should have known you were behind this. Where have you taken me? You don't recognize it? This is your home! The Great Clock! A marvel of science and sorcery, engineered by the brightest Sony in all of existence, and constructed in the exact center of the universe! Give or take 50 feet. I am curious. What lie did you tell the Zoni in your quest for vengeance? Vengeance? You think I went to all this trouble for mere vengeance? They say I'm egomaniacal. Let's just say it's all in the past. Lawrence! Right here, sir. Ready the orb of gratuitous immobilization. <laughs> Shall I prepare the mnemonic station again? No. I have a better idea. But, sir... Patience, Lawrence. We have all the time in the universe. It's huge. So huge, in fact, that if you lost your car keys in it, they would be almost impossible to find. Luckily for Ratchet, Captain Copernicus L. Quark was on the case. His mission, rescue the Lombax's one and only friend. Yep, without Clank, Ratchet was alone in the universe. Alone. 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 You realize this ship has an ejector seat, right? Sorry. I guess you could say I've been a little antsy in my pantsy at the thought of getting back into the hero business. <laughs> yep. These wild stallions have been in the stable too long. 
Right. Look, just keep your eyes peeled. Tawan says this sector's crawling with mercenaries. Rest easy, my friend. My vigilance is both eternal and peripheral. Warning. Warning. Unidentified anomaly detected. Hang on. Shifting to evasive maneuver. We're gonna die! Oh, good thing I'm wearing clean underwear! Will you shut up? We are not gonna die! Avilion! Engage gravimetric stabilizers! Negative. Stabilizers offline. Thrusters offline. Landing flaps offline. Alright. So, we're gonna die. No! Much for clean underwear. Where the heck are we? Beats me. Perhaps a leisurely stroll through this uncharted jungle will solve the mystery. Marooned on a hostile alien planet. Captain Quark realized his rescue mission would inevitably pit him against the most terrifying evil of all, nature itself. another way across oh great this rain is gonna be murder on my spandex what's the plan anyway well where there are bridges, there are people. Where there are people, there are ships. You see where I'm going with this? Hey, that's pretty smart. You're gonna make a great sidekick. Look at this beautiful native craftsmanship. <laughs> Take that! Whoa! Quark, are you seeing this? Something is seriously wrong with this planet. Uh, it's like time is all not working. Rumble, you stupid door! I'll find another way around. You gonna be all right with those things on the loose? Please, I can handle a few tiny creatures. Yeah. <laughs> 
You see the size of those things? They were horrible. Come on, maybe there's a hotel around here. Concerned for his compatriots' well-being, Captain Quark's noble sidekick ninja leaps from stone to stone. Below him, six deadly inches of crystal blue water. Rumble presents to you the ultimate problem solver. Welcome back, Chief. Anyone asks, we never met. With his enemies vanquished, Captain Quark steals into the jungle, blaster at the ready, prepared to deliver swift justice to those who cross his path. door is a jaw. Oh, brother. Hey, how come you get all the cool weapons? Keep the change, villain. Like that for a sidekick. Help. Help. Please. Please help me. My children. They're in danger. What seems to be the problem, citizen? Cyphoids. We were fishing up the river when they attacked. Quark, stay here. I'll go save the children. You got it, sidekick. Smart thinking. I'll just stay here and hold the fort.
how you construct our weapons. Happy to be of service, ma'am. The Xiphoids will be back soon. Come! We have to get into the village. So, what are these things? Mutated viruses from the Kortho sector. We haven't seen them on this planet in years. Something must have happened to the Zodi. Alpheus, open the door! Anessa! What are you doing out here? The Xiphoids are back. There must be something wrong with the timekeeper. Not in front of the outsiders. Quickly, we must head into the village. These creatures are the least of our worries right now. One of the elders spotted Lord Vorsalon's warship over the falls. Lord Vorsalon? <laughs> that rebel must be making trouble again. We have to move everyone into the village. And you get all the cool weapons. Feel the rep. Congratulations! Your weapon is upgraded! Weapons the upgrade blaster. automatically as they are you! This increases the damage and has no modification! Blaster! <laughs> Stop until they've broken through the wall! We have to protect the villagers! Thanks, I did. I, uh, I turned it in my eye. Is it me, or is it just me? are no longer safe. Come, we can offer you sanctuary within these walls. I saw your starship crash on the other side of the ridge. I believe we may be of assistance. The ship's trashed. Ah, but the Zoni can. Meet me at the Temple of Zan whenever you're ready. I will explain everything. <laughs> In memory of Zan Gribnak, father, friend, and chief of the Fungoids. <laughs> Looks like this guy was some sort of hero. Destructive nature. 
Firing the weapon at a group of enemies will unleash a deadly and destructive mating call. Rattic kick! Try squeezing the trigger when the Xenagos lungs are full! The Sonic Eruptor! Available only at Grumpnet! Alright, Chief. What can we do you for? Anyone asks? We never met. You're all Max. Your starship is not beyond repair, but fixing it will take powers beyond anything this universe has ever seen. Powers not to be taken lightly. Can you keep a secret? Well. The Sony are powerful creatures, capable of almost anything, but they are also hive minds and must be kept together for their energy to work. Inside is a vessel which will allow you to rescue lost Zoni and harness their bioenergy. Follow me and don't touch anything. We'll have to seal you inside until you recover the vessel. Are you sure you don't want to stay here? We have a lovely miniature golf course. I'll be fine. Quark, link into my nav. We'll stay in radio contact. Copy that. Operation Red Shirt is a go. All right. The key to surviving situations like this is to avoid phrases like it's too quiet in here or everything's going to be all right. Got it. I'm through. Yeah. I'm through. Let's hope this vessel is worth it. According to the Chief, it's one of a kind. Brought to this dimension by Orvis and entrusted to the Fongoids. And he's sure it'll fix Aphelion? He said it'll do a lot more than that. Zoni Bioenergy is the most powerful resource in the Omniverse. Whoa! Quark! There are two Zoni in here. Those poor lost little creatures. See if you can grab one with your wrench and stuff it into the vessel. Got it. Nice work, Ratchet. Operation Red Shirt is a success. You survived? I mean, you survived! <laughs> I told you he'd do it! Well done! The vessel is yours! <laughs> Come, there is one more Zoni we put in the old armory for safekeeping. Our guards discovered it wandering around the waterfront. It can help you repair your ship! <laughs> You ready to let those stallions out of the stable? I was born ready. Ah! I that the Varius was clear as to the repercussions of leaving your hovel. The clock is ours. Whoa, uh, wait. Who? Dr. Nefarious has no authority here, villain. In fact, I'm not even entirely convinced he's a real doctor. So return my sidekick's pal before I bring the thunder. 
you with again, technology! Kill the exile and bring the rest in for question. Kidnapping the villagers! We have to stop them! No! Oh, no! Sonic, you have not detected my body core. A secret passageway that will take you back to your ship. Stay close. of technology in the entire village. I was always meaning to dismantle it, but now I'm glad I didn't. This teleporter will take you back to your ship. Well, follow me. Quick, use this Zoni vessel to repair your starship.
Bork, come in. Do you read me? It's good to hear your voice, Ratchet. They've got us in these containment cells, and they're coming with food. Oh, thank heaven, they're coming with... Tap water? You animals! Would you just listen to me? I need you to activate the nav beacon on your belt. Can you do that? Good. Now hang tight. I'm on my way. appears to be the same as Captain Quark's nav beacon. holding you. I don't know. It's a big cell with some sort of containment field. Oh, it smells like my high school gym locker. All right. Maintain radio silence. I'll contact you when I'm inside.
Quark, give me a status update. This guy works a lot means business. He says he'll kill us if we don't give up Alistair Azimuth. Who is Alistair Azimuth? I don't know, some rebel. All right, we'll find out what you can. If he's an enemy of Nefarious, he might be a friend to us. Detention wing? Wow. I can't believe that worked. What was that? Nothing. Insolent creature! Give me the location of the rebel Azar! We don't know! That wasn't a young lover! Or wish to protect Guards! Throw them a break! If they haven't broken by the time we drop sectors, it's It's the Green One's sidekick! We're saved! I knew you'd come for us. It's good to see you, Ratchet. Now we need to find a way out. What's your name? The child. Hurl yourself into this laser wall as hard as you can. Hey, mister. What about the Versafuse? If you pull it out, it might lower the field. We did it! Everyone follow me! I'll get us out of here. Stay quiet. I don't want to set off the alarm. 
myself. Fongoids to safety. Okay, anybody need to use the bathroom? I don't want to leave the loading bay and then here one of you has to go. The onboard computer says there's a manual switch somewhere in that room. Check the grav ramp. Loading bay doors are open. Launching escape vessel in three, two, one. Blocked by escape route. Meet me in the lower deck landing bay.
pitiful creature. You've meddled in Dr. Nathurius's plans for the last time. Prepare to be killed by... Wait for it... The Lord Forcelon! <laughs> map has been updated with coordinates to the Vila sector.
Dark security satellites with HoloNet relays. They must be destroyed in order to clear the sector of fighter patrols. Nobody moves, and nobody gets hurt. Where lawlessness and chaos have seeped into every fiber of our society. My 
baby! Someone stole my baby! In a world where people steal babies, a man has the courage to stand up for what's right. I thought he was the only idea. You know, like the abominable the Vanna Farm. One man has the proper ratio of strength, fortitude, and loose cannonism to take on the sinister forces of evil. The time has come for... Anybody call for a ridiculously attractive savior? Captain Quark. This movie, Fox Hollow Films, presents a story about a man with all the one-liners. Take him down, lads! The only town you'll be taking me to is downtown. That is, I'll be taking you for something. Well, yeah, this is Maximilian Zay, keeping your ass cool with the galaxy's smoothest group. Take it right here. On Deep Space Dance.
There's another slow jam from Haley and the Comet's instrumental album Stars Burned Brighter Just Before Dying, coming soon to a store near you. And now, continuing our block of commercial free jams, it's Sly Web with My Love is a Nova. who assisted me in my escape from Nefarious. What is your name? My name? Um, yes, of course. Sigma 0426A. Uh, but you can call me Sigmund. I'm junior caretaker here at the Great Clock. Forgive me, but what is the Great Clock? Oh dear! We're late! Come! We don't have a lot of time! Uh, figuratively speaking, of course. Where is everyone? I'm not really sure. Nefarious and his troops just picked up and left after that butler guy tossed you into the hall. Not a very pleasant lot, are they? No, 
not very pleasant at all. May I ask what the purpose of this facility is? Oh, oh no! Oh, come on! Stupid hypersonic brainwave scrambler. People wonder why we keep this place a secret. Denied. Senior personnel only. Open your optical drive. This is senior personnel. I'm with XJ0461. While you're unconscious, I took the liberty of installing a quantum actuator into your circuitry. It allows you to create multiple selves. Multiple selves? How else would we get anything done around here? It, just record your actions using the time pads and initiate them while the present you moves on to do other things. Time pads can be a little tricky. Let me show you how they work. First, stand on the time pad. Then, initiate temporal recording. Now I'll just open the door and end temporal recording. Now, when I start recording on the second pad, Look, sir, that's me! Now all I have to do is wait for me to open the door for myself! <laughs> Ta-da! Now I can get through the door. Pretty sweet, huh? Go ahead, sir. Give it a try. Temporal recording initiated. Now, activate the other time pad and have your... Self, open the door for you. Temporal recording initiated. Like an ingenious security device. Did you design it? Are you kidding? Orvis was the smart one. Time pads will also let you record over your past selves. That way you can do everything they did and more. First, initiate recording and open that chamber door. Then, while the chamber is open, end recording. Next, we'll start recording on the second time pad. When your past self opens the chamber, step inside and open the door. Now, end recording. Okay, here's the tricky part. Since the past self holding the door open is inside the chamber, You'll have to re-record over your other self in order to exit. Open the chamber to let your past self in. Then when he opens the exit, you're free to go. Give it a try, sir. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. You're halfway there, sir. All you have to do now is re-record your first self. Temporal recording initiated. And the other will open initiated. the door for you. Brilliant, sir. Follow me. Orvis was right. You're gonna do just fine. Race you to the demonic tank. Aw, oh, come on. I just fixed that. Here we are! So, are you ready to meet Orvis? I am ready. Access granted. Welcome to Mnemonic Station Beta. Ta-da! Where is Orvis? He's in your head, of course. You're locked away on a secret partition in your memory base. 
Dr. Nefarious spent over a year trying to hack in. I have to deactivate your neural safeguards and send you into your own subconscious. Hop in! J0461, and welcome to your subconscious. I am Orvis, and I've been anticipating your return for quite some time. I do not understand. Have I been here before? <laughs> you didn't think your soul came from a robot factory, did you? I created you. Oh, you must have a lot of questions, but first, I have a present for you. Off we go. We have lots to do if you're going to take over my work. Are you really my father? No, my dear boy. I am a program. A digital simulation of the real Orvis. Installed the day you were born in Solana. But don't worry. I know all his old jokes. <laughs> Lesson one. I'm going to teach you how to manipulate time. That chronoceptor can be used to create time bombs. Try using them to get across to the other side. Bravo, XJ0461, bravo! Each bomb contains enough quantum energy to slow down time for just a few moments. Quantum energy is quite unstable, so only one bomb may be thrown at a time. a broken object, simply strike it with your chronoceptor. It should reverse back to the way it was. Go on, give it a try. Good form, XJ0461. You're doing quite well. Now, on to lesson two. What is lesson two? Temporal manipulation via faster than light particle acceleration? Actually, I'm going to teach you how to hit things with a big stick. From time to time, various creatures find their way into the clock. A good caretaker protects the equipment at all costs. Yes, but what does the equipment do? All in good time, my son. Now, think of someone you wouldn't mind bonking on the head. Perhaps a buffoon who has made life difficult for you in the past? Hmm. <laughs> Wonderful! Hey, but you can do better than that. Good form, my son. Now, do as the kids say and lay the smack down. I think you're ready for a bit more. Terrific! Keep going. Just a few left. Well done. You certainly cleaned their clocks. <laughs> did you see what I did there? Oh, my. You've done wonderfully, my son. I know you're going to take good care of this place. But where will you be? This is your facility. No, my dear boy. It's your facility. The great clock and everything in it. I now leave to you. Watch over it and protect it. Fulfill your destiny, XJ0461. Program terminated. Congratulations, sir. It's a pleasure to have you aboard. Signal. Pretty neat, what huh? To the that chronoceptor's over. He said it's a secret. 
and a junior caretaker knows how to keep secrets. Yes, sir. Come on, we have an orientation room that will tell you everything you need to know about the great clock. It's also great for watching cartoons. Watch out, sir! Terratropes! Terratropes are nasty little creatures. They feed on quantum energy, so they can see your past selves. That lousy hypersonic brainwave scrambler must have left. Nicely done, sir. I would have helped you out, but I'm not exactly what you'd call a fighter. find another way across. Your past selves can throw time bombs too. Just remember, only one can exist at a time. It's for your own safety. Temporal recording initiated. Shoo! I said shoo! Be gone! Vamoose! This up here! Temporal recording initiated. Damn it, tropes! Keep them away from your past self! You're getting pretty good at this, sir. I hate you, hypersonic brainwave scrambler! And I'm coming for you! Not now, Conduit but prepared. soon! After I take karate lessons and... and I'm, well, I'm just saying you're on my list, pal! Uh, Sigmund, I believe it is gone. That's right! Run away! Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Whoa! Even Orvis had trouble with that one once. Ah, oh, crud. This one looks like a doozy. Computer, can you shut down the gears in Sector 3? Negative. But I will cross my fingers for you. Stupid, sarcastic, outdated piece of... I heard that. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Unauthorized sonic device on approach. Sir, watch out! It's the hypersonic brainwave 
Sonic Scrambler! Warning. Unauthorized Sonic device in Sector 3. Here it comes! Your time has come, Hypersonic Brainwave Scrambler. Let us dance. Watch out, sir! He's using a Sonic Burst Emitter! <laughs> chamber. Sir. <laughs> Splendid! The moment we've been waiting for is now. Now, if there's nothing else to discuss. There is one small matter. I don't have the capacity for love, Janice. I was cursed by a tribe of Gypsy ninjas when I was a kid. I know, Lamb. I was in that tribe of gypsy ninjas. Ah! They cannot be allowed to meddle in our plans! Track them down and annihilate them! Very good, sir. In the meantime, might I suggest engaging with safety so as not to kill any more troops? It's not even loaded, you moron! Look! <laughs> Next! Now entering Venus Center. All next identified are Dr. Laparius. Come in. I just landed on Torn 4. Do the Fungoids know where I can find Azimuth? Chief, uh, something, something says he supposedly lives in the ruins of Volgrim Pass. Volgrim Pass? All right. Maybe someone around here can point me in the right direction. See what else you can find. I'll be in touch. Roger that. Work out. Yeah. 
Welcome, outsider. I apologize for the ruse, but we'd like to keep our operation away from the prying eyes of galactic authorities. Come, you have proven yourself worthy. Fulgrim Pass is on the other side of the heart, but you must be aware that there is a dangerous exile there. Most of our kind do our best to stay away from him. Why? What'd he do? Oh, you know. Attacked one of Nefarious's transports. Morsalon outpost in Corthos. The usual rebel stuff. Here we are. Oh, not again. Do me a favor and grab that battery pod, will ya? Good yeah. for nothing creatures never yeah. stay in their sockets. <laughs> Adventurous. Outnumbered by enemies? No problem. Even the score by deploying this remote controlled orb. Once activated, you can steer it around the battlefield and wipe out the whole lot of them. The Dynamo of Doom. Available only at Grummelnet. Please support the Omega Commander and Sector Elite. 
Excuse me, uh, hi. Do you know where I can find Alistair Azimuth? I'm a Lombax! The Lombaxes are gone! And I know a hollow guy is when I see one! Can you stop trying to kill me for two seconds so we can talk? Try this! You're starting to annoy me! How about a barbecue? You have trained more before coming for me! I've toyed with you long enough! Son. Forgive me, General Alistair Asmuth, Forbolt Magistrate of the Lombax Praetorian Guard, Elder Councilman for the Center for Advanced Lombax Research, and you, my dear boy, look just like your father. I have so many questions. How did you know him? Caden and I were good friends. He was a great Lombax, smart as they come. He was the first outsider to theorize that the Great Clock even existed. And this clock? You think Clank's in there? Clock is a rather crude translation of the runes on Quantos. Specifically, they say Keeper of Time. But yes, I suspect he is. You see, according to Fungoid lore, the Zoni are the guardians of time. If your friend is connected to them, he must play some part in its operation. Where are those blasted things? Wait, I thought my father was the only one to stay behind when the Lombaxes left. Why didn't you go with them? Sometimes the universe has a cruel sense of humor. Ah, here they are. Your father's hover boots. Ready for your first lesson? If you're going to stop Nefarious, you're going to have to learn how to outmaneuver him. Used properly, these hover boots will give you exactly the edge you need. Now, back straight, legs bent slightly at the knee, and engage. Wonderful. Well, take them for a spin. If you want to turn, just shift your weight. The boosters will take care of the rest. Ah! I see you found the accelerator! I've set up a small practice course for you over here. Come on back when you're ready to give it a shot. Well... Looks like you've got the basics down. Now let's try something a bit more challenging, like this hover boot course.
Well done. You're a faster learner than your father. I have one final test set up over there. Are you ready? All right. Follow me. And now for your final exam. We'll test your speed as well as your skill. You must complete the course and grab every flare along the way in under a minute. If you succeed, I may just let you keep those hover boots. You definitely have the skill, but you were a little too slow. Let's try again. Faster. Cover booting I've ever seen. Nice work, Ratchet. Ion coils might be a bit rusty. <clears throat> You'll get used to them. Thanks. So what now? Storm Nefarious' stronghold? Force him to tell us where the clock is, huh? Nefarious would be foolish to reveal that information to us, no matter what we do to him. But we have an advantage I did not have before. A contact inside the clock. Clank? How are we gonna talk to him? General, my ship's this way? No thanks. I brought my own. Meet me in Axiom City, planet Tarachnos! What are we looking for in Axiom City? A way to talk to Clank!
General, come in. I just landed in Axiom City. Where are you? I'm afraid I've run into a bit of trouble. Got to make a slight adjustment to our plan. What kind of adjustment? Attention, citizens. Rogue Lombax Alistair Asilon has been spotted within city limits. Troopers have been mobilized for your protection. Don't worry, I have a plan. Just get to Nurox Plaza and wait for me to make contact. Holland Plaza. Splendid, sir. Off to the dressing room. for Zoni technology, are you?
Another Lombax. Come back to vandalize more equipment? Mind your manners. Any super intelligent being can see that this is a different Lombax. My colleague is just upset about the rebel azimuth destroying the terminal. The firefight triggered Axiom's defensive grid, and now the entire city's closed off. Maybe you can help. What's he gonna do? Fly over the grid and activate the reboot switches? Ah! I'd love to see that. transport tube now that the lockdown's over. Here you go! This ought to take you right to Nurox Plaza. Transport tube activated. Good luck, Lombax. And thanks again for all your help, Lombax lover. Oh, shut up. Starship 1941, non 
stop to Torrent 4 is now ready to depart. This isn't a robot. Why would he help Nefarious? Probably for the same reason Forcelon is. To use the clock for their own personal gain. Why do I get the feeling this clock does more than just tell time? Because it moves time as its caretaker sees fit using a control room called the Orvis Chamber. Think of what Nefarious could do with the power to control time. I have to go. Call me as soon as you reach Nurox Plaza. traffic away from the building. We'll have to find another point of entry. Come, I have someone on the inside who may be able to help us. Someone who works for Nefarious? Actually, he's a data miner at Pollux Industries. I saved him from becoming food for the Agorians. What are you doing on this frequency? The entire city is looking for you! I'm here to cash in on that favor, Jarvis. We need a way inside Pollux Industries. I knew one day you'd dig in accomplice to terrorism! I'll run a diagnostic on the security system. In the meantime, you better take cover. Another security team is closing in. Sink their positions to our nav units, and hurry up on that diagnostic! <laughs> We have to 
provide Jarvis some time to work. Ready for some combat? on that entry point. I think I may have found a vulnerable spot. Just give me a moment to double check my logic. Sounds simple enough. Not exactly. It'll take all three of us. I'm activating the transport ramps to the west side of the plaza. Head there now and await further instructions. The transport ramps are up. Follow me.
enable you to activate them and ionize a hologram conduit. Usually I have Clank to translate stuff like this. Can you say that again in non-geek speak? When the general lowers the defense grid, you just activate all the switches I send to you. Got it. Lowering defense grid. Now! Okay, then hit. Making power switches to your nav unit now. chance to back out. Age before beauty, General. <laughs> Wise guy, just like your father. Follow me! You made it. Come on, the main office is this way. Attention, a bio scan reveals two non-maxes in main server room, mobilizing all units. Blasted bio scans. You take the left, I'll cover the right. This baby here deals maximum damage. For a... Tesla spikes are the ultimate defensive weapon. One spike is effective. Two or more, and they're outright lethal. When some goons approach you, try throwing a few Tesla spikes. Deadly electricity will flow between each spike, destroying nearby enemies and protecting your hide. The more you throw, the more protected you'll be. Tesla Spikes, available only at Rumblemax. All right, Chief, what can we do you for? doing that. I can't hold the wall. 
Nice work. Couldn't have left a few for me, hmm? Reward over consequence, right? You're a fast learner. Come on. We're almost there. There's an obsidian eye somewhere in Krill Canyon. I can't lock on any closer. Greetings, my old friend. Been a long time. I'm thrilled you're here to witness my greatest triumph. And look, you've met the Elder. Pity the first Lombax you meet is the shame of his entire race. So what is it this time, Nefarious? He's still trying to turn everyone into robots, or is it just good old-fashioned galactic domination? Part of me wants to let you live long enough to find out. The other part really wants to kill you. You know, for old time's sake. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Attention, BX-99 detective. Evacuate all stations. Well, at least we know what he went with. the entire city just to get us. Come on, we have to take it out. I'll cover you from the air. You just find a way to stall it. Stall it? It's the size of a building! How do I get myself into these situations? Lock up its circuitry for a few moments. 
pretty good back there. I'm heading off to refuel. Next stop, planet Lumos. Home of Vullards, Petromites, and some of the best hover booting spots you'll ever see. Copy that. See you there.
rules. No help.
Pollux believes the entire procedure will require approximately 183 paradoxes. 84 if the blog participate. Uh, sir, might I suggest we allow the terachnoids to examine the chamber before testing the machine? That's the matter, Lawrence! Chicken? <laughs> Whoopsie, sir. Butterfingers. I just learned that the Lombaxes have destroyed the VX-99. Our sentries are searching for their vessel's signature as we speak. Unacceptable! I practically handed those squishies to you on a silver platter! How could you be so utterly incompetent? I'll leave you two alone. If Ratchet or the Elder find the clock, our plans will be ruined! Your body will remain crushed and abandoned on Zorik. Is that what you want? I'm bringing in specialists! Cassiopeia! Well, hello there. Karina! Bonjour. And Libra. Hey, how you doing? Valkyries! Decades ago, your colony was atomized in the era of a supernova. How would you like to have it back? One hypersonic brainwave scrambler scrambled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! That was cool. Come on! Orientation room! Just use your helipad, sir. What do they say? Never put up today what you've already done yesterday. No, that's not right. Always do today what you didn't put off yesterday. Nope, nope, that wasn't it either. Ah, oh, well, it was something about doing stuff and when it should be done. This way, sir. Will a junior caretaker please report to Grab Station 7 for Versa Fuse maintenance? Thank you. There's another one! Got it! Let's go, sir! Sigmund, why am I not affected by altered time? That's your quantum actuator at work. It provides temporal immunity for those of us who protect time. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Come on! Orientation room this way! This is the most awesomest part of the clock! Large screen Crystal X display. VG9800 game system. The works! Take a seat, sir. Orientation video is about to start. Dun da da da! Orvis Industries presents The Great Clock and You with your host, Orvis! Hello! And... Uh, oh, is it on? Uh, Sigmund? Uh, the light is blinking. Uh, should it be blinking? Nah. Uh, hold on, sir. Okay, try now. Hello! And welcome to the Great Clock. You're here because you've been selected to join our team. And we couldn't be happier to have you. We have a lot to discuss. But first, let's take a look at what the Great Clock is. 
eons ago, our kind entrusted the Fongoids with a special gift. The gift of time travel. We had hoped it would enrich their lives as it did ours. But uh, unfortunately... They lost it up! Uh, Sigmund, <clears throat> let's just say they were overzealous in its use. After only 3,000 short years, the Fongoid's use of time travel wore the space-time continuum thin. Paradoxes stacked on top of paradoxes, conundrums on top of conundrums, until one day, a tiny rift in the continuum destroyed 83 celestial entities. Existence, it seemed, was at an end. If the universe was to survive, it would need a heart transplant. So, I designed a special gift to repair the damage. The Great Clock. Built in the exact center of the universe, give or take 50 feet, the clock would repair the rift and restore temporal normality to the universe. And that, my son, is where you come in. There are only two rules concerning the operation of the Great Clock. Number one, under no circumstances is it to be used as a time machine. The clock is not meant to alter time, only to keep it. Number two, should you find yourself wanting to use the clock as a time machine, consult rule number one. <laughs> Did you hear that, Sigmund? Because rule number one, you see, says don't do it. <laughs> Brilliant, sir. All right, all right. Uh, let's go have some tea. Incredible. The great clock is responsible for temporal stability across the universe? Now you know why Orb has kept it such a secret. Without this station, the universe would just collapse on itself. And where is the real Orbis? I told you, it's a secret. Now, come on, it's time for another lesson. Huh? Hello, XJ0461. It's good to see you again. And now, it's time for your most important lesson. What am I learning this time? The clock's primary function is to maintain temporal normality. When that normality is threatened, you must act to repair it immediately. Time anomalies detected on Creeley Comet. Ah, the Creeley Comet. Beautiful, isn't it? But as you can see, it has fallen prey to temporal rifts. As caretaker, it's up to you to fix it. Go ahead, give it a try. Fix the rifts by focusing your chronoceptor's beam on each anomaly. You're doing quite well. Tempo ribbon inbound in three, two, one. Keep going, just a few left. Temporal ribbon impact in three, two, one. Excellent work, dear boy. Now come, there's one more thing I want to show you. Swing your 
your Chrono Scepter and give them a taste of their own medicine. Time reversal is also handy for rewinding anything your enemies throw at you. I hope you don't mind, but I borrowed these figments from your subconscious. All right, figments, snap to it. You're a natural. Wonderful. Wonderful! <laughs> Show! It very much reminds me of a sport I read about once called baseball. I am very proud of you, XJ0461. And now, you're ready for the task ahead. Go forth and fix time. Save the universe. When you're ready, my chamber will be waiting. Program terminated. Welcome back, sir. Are you ready to repair time? Ready as I will ever be, Sigmund. May I ask, what is the chamber? Ah, the Corvus Chamber. That's the main control hub of the entire facility. It's also the most secure. I've never been inside it myself. That's the entire universe. This is one of our planets. Your first task as senior caretaker is to repair the damage caused by Dr. Barry. Just let me get here when you're finished. Time anomalies detected on planet Quantos. Quantum restoration initiated. Temporal ribbon inbound in three, two, one. Ribbon inbound in three, two, one. Nicely done! Temporal ribbon inbound in three, two, one. You're getting pretty good at this, sir. Temporal normality restored to planet Quantos. That was amazing, sir! Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated.
Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Detected in Versa Fuse 0017 Recommend replacement immediately. Here you go, sir. 
Clock weld is dispatched to primary chronosphere. All personnel, please stand clear. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Caretaker to Solana Terminal 6. Temporal ribbon inbound in three, two, one. Temporal ribbon impact in three, two, one.
Please, once in a while. Huh. Accessing archives. Hello, Sigmund. I just wanted to let you know. I will be traveling to the Tombly outpost on Xanafar and will not be back until morning. A fellow scientist has requested an audience with me and etiquette dictates I comply. Don't go, sir. Mind the clock while I'm gone. Uh, wind the time cleaners and, uh, Sigmund, uh, let's just keep this our little secret. As the kids say, BRB. <laughs> Please don't go. End recording. It's... Dangerous. Now entering Corthos Sector. Warning. Warning. Hostel ships detected. Well, well, well. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, looks like this Lombax is lost. What do you say, girls? Shall we help him find his way? Cassie, we picked up a signature 3,000 kilo cubits north of Orak Minor. It's a Lombax ship. Hmm, General Asimov. The bounty's up to two million bolts on him. Libra, be a good girl and take care of our friend. We'll kill the Elder. General, come in. You've got hostile ships inbound. I see them. They're Valkyries. Expert pilots away from the Farius. I'll lose them in the asteroid belt. You just can't for Lumos.
Selecting track with optimal amounts of pace. Initiating in 3, 2, 1. I've triangulated the Obsidian Eye's location, somewhere in the... Follow me. Stay close. evolution in long-range assassination. The Plasma Striker's strength comes from our patented Bioscope. The scope pinpoints vulnerable spots on any enemy, making for a more efficient kill. Just lay your crosshairs on the red indicator and BAM! <laughs> if it don't kill him, it'll sure give him a reason to retreat. The Plasma Striker, available only at Grummelnet. We have to find a way to raise that mining platform. Luckily, I come prepared. There. Head to the bottom, see if you can raise the platform. I'll cover you. Your father and I used to come here all the time when we were children. Back when this was a raritanium mine. Looks all dried up now, but believe me, this whole place used to shimmer. We'd sneak in after the Vollards left and just pop a boot through the darkness. Caden almost broke his arm right over there. We had some good times out here. Nice job, Ratchet! I knew you could do it! Come on, get back up here and let's find that eye! That's a Hydra plan! Looks ripe enough to spring you back to the surface. Try yeah. jumping on it! Yeah. You did well. Come on, let's search the caves. Let's just say they can digest anything. Now remember, tetramites hate water. If we can get to the other side of that creek, we'll be fine. Let's move! Cratchit, hurry! You're reminding me more of your father every minute. Come on, we're almost through. I recognize all of this. There's a rock ledge down there we used to hover boot off of straight into nothingness. <laughs> I was scared the first time with your father. He didn't blink. Feels like... General, can we talk about what happened? With my father, the Lombaxes. Now is not the time for destructions. Not when we're this close. You're doing great, Ratchet. Keep going, and don't look down! Easy, Ratchet. Easy. You're almost there. What did I tell you? A leap of faith! 
General, wait! General, will you just stop for a second? I want to know what happened. <sighs> questions, questions. You ask all these questions. Ask yourself this. How relevant is the past when it can be changed? Your father would have said not very. That's him. And you still haven't given me a straight answer. Now why aren't you with the Lombaxes? Because I failed them! I failed them. I made a mistake. After the Great War, Polaris was a dangerous place. Even with the Kragmites gone, I knew steps needed to be taken to protect the galaxy. One day, we were approached by an inventor with incredible ideas, technology light years beyond what we were using. The inventor was someone... someone your father warned me not to trust. Our kind had grown suspicious of him, but I was convinced this was the right thing to do for the galaxy. I granted him full access to our technology, all of our secrets, only when he was finished. They took refuge in the court, but your father refused. He would never have left your mother, but when he made it back, she... she was already gone. I don't know how long he survived before Takian caught up with him, but I know I was responsible for his death. For my crimes? I was forbidden from joining the Lombaxes, and so, I live in exile. I can make it right, Ratchet. All of it. I... We can fix it. With the clock under our control, it'll be like none of this ever happened. Stay with me, and I promise I'll get your family back. <laughs> have no time for petty squabbles. Ratchet, remember the mission. The obsidian eye is all that matters. The eye? It's in a temple. I can take you there. Please, we are not an aggressive race. Help us defeat the Agorians and I'll show you where it is. Request denied! If you are not 
need some heavier firepower. Wait here. I'll cover you from the sky.
Ships are inbound, Commander. Enter a jet formation and destroy the rebels. Outsider, I'm activating our defensive station. It's fully charged and ready for combat. Our fighters are inbound, Commander. Destroy the rebels. I need positions. Copy that. Stand by for now. to be of service. However, there is the matter of guiding us to the Obsidian Eye. Yes, of course. Naturally, I can't take you there myself. Far too treacherous for me. But here is something to help you through the caves. We closed these caves off years ago. Too many dangers, too many deaths. Perhaps that Omni Soaker will ward off the Tetramites. You two all right in there? Looks like the door rusted right off its track. I'll try to get it fixed, but then uh, it might be a while. Try breathing real shallow like. Well, looks like the only way out is in. What do you think? Should we give that Omni Soaker a try? Good. Now, see if you can use it to fatten up that hydro plant. You have to admire bullet engineering. That Omni Soaker can suck up almost anything. Water, nectar, <laughs> even oil. Yeah. See that? Brica's worm root produces a sugary nectar the tetramites can't stay away from. Try your Omni Soaker on it. What did I tell you? They love it! Well, can't blame them, really. That nectar makes an excellent tea. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ratchet, the great clock awaits! That's Vault and Ivy, a living organism impervious to any munition in the known universe. You'll have to find a way to scare it. Problem. The wench crank for that mining platform is right next to a tetramite nest. We're too close to turn back now. Got any more of those flares? Be careful down there. Bombs away! Did it, Ratchet! Well done! Come on! The Obsidian Eye is right this way! Do you realize that we are just hours away? from reversing the greatest tragedy in the history of the universe. Your mother, your father, they'll both be right here, safe and sound. You really think the clock can save them? <laughs> of course. And that's what it was built for. Come on. We may not be able to get a signal. Stand by for system uplink. Clank! Ratchet, how did you find me? Are you kidding me? You think I'd leave my best pal out here alone? Who is that behind you? Is that a Lombax? Yeah, this is General Azimuth. He's been helping me look for you. Just send me your coordinates and we'll pick you up. Signal integrity 33%. Ratchet, I need your help. Orvis is in trouble. You must go to Xenophar and confront Dr. Nefarious. Xenophar? Dr. Nefarious hasn't set foot on that rock since his station was completed two years ago. Then that is when you must confront him. Head to the Tomley outpost and look for a time portal. Please, save my father. Father? What's going on? <laughs> you cannot hide in the broom closet forever, Sigmund. Orvis needs our help. Now, can you synthesize a time portal on Xanifar? I suppose I could use the oscilloscopic entanglement modulator to create a vacuum of negative energy, theoretically creating a traversable wormhole. Time rift stabilized. T 
Ta-da! My nav unit's correct. Our ships are right on the other side of this wall. Good work in there, Ratchet. I'll meet you on planet Xanafar.
punch. You like to fight? You like to mix it up? You look like a mixer-upper. What's your name, Spoon? I'm Ratchet. <laughs> That's a silly name. What? You folks lose a bet? Kidding! I'm Mac. You have to excuse the hologram. Folks around here have a tendency to throw things. Take a look around. If you need anything, Max, your guy. You got something to prove, huh? You got Moxie, kid. I like that. Head over to the gladiator entrance. <laughs> Splendid, sir. Off to the dressing room. Attention, Battleplex patrons. Our creature handler has uh, misplaced. This baby here deals maximum damage. For a fair price, of course. If you find yourself overwhelmed by enemies, the Groovatron is the perfect tool for tipping the scales back in your favor. Simply throw one into a large crowd, and the Groovatron will emit a mesmerizing tune, which triggers fits of uncontrollable dancing. This will give you extra time to replenish your ammo, make your escape, or deliver a crushing blow to your would-be dispatches using the incendiary weapon of your choice. The Groovatron Glove, available only at Grummelnet. All right, Chief. What can we do you for? One of our war blocks. Do not be alarmed. The rock has been fed and poses no threat to weaklings. Look what we have here, fellas.
How about that, folks? Another amazing victory! Now, how about we give this Lombax a little backup? All right! Please welcome, all the way from the Solana Galaxy, Mr. Copernicus Quark! It's Captain Quark. I didn't take a three-week hero correspondence course to be called Mr. Easy on the goods, pal. Folks might remember Captain Quark from his brief stint. He's a big superhero in the pump on Let's look at that. I train with the elite Umbuku gladiators of Terraclon 6. My body is in peak physical condition. My sense is sharp as Trillium Razor. Release the War Grok! Not it!
Wizard Thing, I understand your proud warrior ways. The Nabla tribesmen of Florana once referred to me as... Or he with mighty pecs who had delivered us serenity. But we cannot kill this creature. You must kill the Wargrog or die! Quark! This thing's trying to eat me! This Lombax is young. He does not understand that being a hero is 45% strength, 60% bravery, and 10% raw intelligence. That's 115%! You're welcome. Please, take me instead. All that I ask is that you name something impressive in my honor. Perhaps a school or a food court. Yes, you are. I'm gonna need you, Snowball. You've gotta be kidding me. I ho, Snowball, away! The Negotiator, the latest in Grummelnet's line of rocket-propelled incendiary devices. This explosive weapon was designed to solve problems in two easy steps: point and shoot. Just aim the weapon at whoever's giving you grief and... Boom! Problem solved! The Negotiator. Available only at Grummelnet. Swell job, King! Swell job! And I just cleaned up thanks to you! Time to roll back to make good on his promise. I won this security card off of the various trooper. <laughs> Maybe you can find a use for it. Attention, Battleplex patrons! We would like to congratulate our first Gonagorian champion! Ratchet has defeated the War Rock in battle! You're all maxed out, Chief! And won the bronze out of the killing!
The Spiral of Death is the latest addition to Grummelnet's line of energy-based weapons. Originally designed by the Fongboids, this baby unleashes a kinetic spiral of energy at your enemies. Just get them in your sights and let her rip! The Spiral will take out your enemy and then nail them again on the return trip! The Spiral of Death, available only in Grummelnet.
Attention, Battleplex patrons! Our creature handler has uh, misplaced. Welcome back, Chief. Her heart was a fiery cauldron of passion and seduction. Oh, Lan- Hey, hey, did you change your mind about giving me a tow? I'll pay you. Thanks, friend. Standing by for tether deployment. I'll sync the fueling station's position to your radar. Here we go! Thanks, 3371-Alpha. Here's something for your trouble. This cupboard says get down and get funky.
My senses are detecting an unknown anomaly, similar to the one that hit us near Quantos. Simply toss a few out onto the battlefield. The mines will home in on any foe unlucky enough to wander within range and... Murr. Now that's cold! The Cryomine Glove. Available only at Grubblenet. Snoop around, Chief. You got a right to protect yourself. Praise Orvis! A Lombax! Have you come to rescue us? Uh, what happened here? Dr. Nefarious. He tricked us into helping him build this outpost, and before we knew it, his troops were herding us into detainment camps. Uh, they're controlled by that guard tower up there. Please, help us. Attention, Fongoid guests. This is a reminder that all permanent residents of the Tombly outpost should stand at least four feet away from the container grid. We don't want anyone out of the box here. Now go with you.
Dr. Nefarious would like to thank you for all your hard work. You're all valuable members of his outfit, and he hopes to execute as... You scared me! I thought you were one of the troops. They've been searching for me ever since I escaped the detainment camp. I need to get back to my hut before they close in. Can you help me get through the ivy? to get moving before they find us. This was all farmland just a couple of years ago. There were gardens all around the village, but I stopped and the various crashed here. I can't remember what. Suddenly.
Lord, the Falcoids must not escape. I will be Clank was talking about. is brilliant.
not a disappointment, as his mom. Hey! Are you here to help build Dr. Nefarious's outpost? Eh, we were about to build the bridge, but the winch crank rusted up. Nothing we can do. Not for a while. <laughs> we'll just have to wait for them to finish building the oil derrick so we can fix it. Nothing we can do. Not for... Praise Nefarious! What can I do for you this fine day? I was planting some vines when suddenly I felt the urge to stop and help our visitor build his new home. Have you met Dr. Nefarious yet? He's great and wonderful! Glad to help! I know more about horticulture than any fungoid on Xenophar. First, you need to scoop up a seed. Then, find a nice patch of soil. Then you just plant it, nice and deep. In a few years, you'll have a nice, healthy vine. Yeah. There are two more planters around here, if you want to give it a try.
rusted. We need to find something to loosen it with. your help, stranger. Well, now that our friends are free, we can shut down the outpost and restore the village. See you later, stranger. Now, come back anytime. Crank, will ya? You did it! Do me a favor. If you see Dr. Nefarious in sight, tell him I helped you out, will ya? Praise Nefarious! A mistake. The clock is not a time machine. There is only one who will enter my chamber, and he is safe far from you. Where is he? Where did he go? Yeah, I don't know, sir. I'm pulling up a residual image from his database. We scanned it before he dissipated. Clank? Yo! Annihilate him, you fools! <laughs> and then I said, not so 
smart now, are you? You get it? Because he's a moron! Oh, Dr. Nefarious, you have such a wonderful sense of humor. And you're so, so...
Is he, Borsalon? Let's see. Now, where did I put him? There's the airlock. There's the torture chamber. The day spa. Tell me what. Defeat me, and maybe I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> 
missions are kind of my thing. Now, how do I lower the container? Ah, these cables must lead to some sort of power supply. Follow them and destroy the containment generators. me. Go! Get to the clock. Save the Lombaxes. Exposed. I know. 
I know, it was touch and go there for a while. But the old Lombax instinct kicked in and... You uh... fool! I told you to leave me. You shouldn't have come back! Wow, that was not the reaction I was expecting. You know, General, it's not like I've been here just sitting around all day. I've traveled back in time, found out what happened to Orvis. Back in time? When? How far? Not far enough. It's just... We're the only ones who can fix the past. I'm proud of you, Ratchet. Come on. It's time to go. Come on! We're getting out of here. Both of us. gonna let us off this ship without a fight. Are you ready? while I hack the terminal.
my ship. Yeah, I'm clear. Were you able to decrypt Vorsalon's flight data? They were encoded with a double hexagonal holokey, but one of the files was unprotected. It looks like coordinates to the Bernelia sector. Well, it's not much, but it's our only lead. Upload them to my ship and I'll meet you there. Ratchet out. <laughs>
temporal to-do list. Well, most of the planets are repaired. I ordered us a new quantum entanglement modulator, and time cleaners are eating away the residual facility rifts, so only one last thing to do. Test mnemonic station IOTA. Mnemonic station IOTA? Yep, as in IOTA test the mnemonic station. <laughs> hey, sorry, Orbis's sense of humor rubs off on you after the first thousand years. Calibrators coming online in three, two, one, mark. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal re Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated.
Temporal recording initiated. Temporal recording initiated. Blockage detected in antimatter turbine 8. Repeat, blockage detected in antimatter turbine 8. Because you do not know. I'll fix you, evil computer. Oh, hey, sir. Do you like giving this station a whack? Hello. Oh, it's you. You gave the old ticker a start. What are you doing all the way out here? These are my memory banks. Your memory banks? Oh, I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. I thought I was in that green fella's head, what with all the emptiness. Oh, well, no matter. <laughs> Aha! Here's the culprit. Now, what could this thingamajig be doing cluttering your brain? That is Ratchet's Omni Wrench. Ratchet. Hmm. Oh, yeah, furry little fella. Don't think I've ever seen you without him. Ooh, you two ain't on the outs, are you? No, we are still friends, but I have new responsibilities. Moving on, huh? Well, we're all trying to find our own path in the universe. The hard part is taking those first steps. Come on, I'll give you a boost. Go ahead. If he's your friend, you'll understand. Are you coming? Plumbers don't just go diving down strange pipes all willy-nilly. That'd be ridiculous. No, this one you'll have to do alone. Oh, and by the way, I wouldn't risk any more than six minutes. No. How does it work? I thought I saw some strange neural activity there for a second. The station is operational. Great! Then on to the Corvus chain. Last one there's a rusted Sony!
Temple recording initiated. 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 Updating Rift Prevention Protocol. 53% complete. 77% complete. 91% complete. Protocol updated. Detected in antimatter turbine eight. Running diagnostic. The chamber's right this way, sir. Well, this is it. Behind this door is the master switch for the entire facility. <clears throat> XJ0461, on behalf of Orvis and in accordance with his wishes, I present to you the Orvis Chamber. this room from those who would abuse it. Control terminal activated. He loved you very much, you know. He was always XJ0461 this and XJ0461 that. I'm supposed to play this for you. It's sort of an orientation message. Hello, XJ0461. Or should I say, Clank? Here, in this very chamber, I watched over time. And now that you understand the power of the clock, I must ask that you protect it at all costs. 
for even the slightest misuse of its power can rip the very fabric of existence. The clock, much like time itself, is a gift and not to be tampered with. But like any father, my only wish is that my... I'm sorry. Were you in the middle of something? Intruders! Protect the chamber! I've got you now! Take this, and this, and now, the Haymaker! Victory! In your face! What is it? You are correct, sir. Clank led us straight to the Orvis chamber. Splendid! Notify the Valkyries! It's time for... Unnecessarily Evil Initiative Omega 91! Right away, sir. Any of your massage, Dr. Nefarious? I didn't send for a massage! Go away! Would you cut me a break, pal? I mean, would you just open the door, please? Hey there! Now enter the Ratchet, come in. I just picked up a looping transmission on one of the emergency frequencies. Tell me what you make of this. I don't believe it. That's a distress call with Clank's signature. Ophelion, can you track the source? The origin appears to be Planetopedia. Acquiring coordinates now. Just think. By tonight, your friend will be safe and the clock will be ours. I'll be there as soon as I can. Bonjour, Monsieur Lombax. I see you picked up on our little signal. Unfortunately, this is as far as you go! You will pay for what you did to Libra! Give me a status update on Clank's transmission. The coordinates appear to be accurate, but the signal has weakened by 72.3%. That means Clank's in trouble. Hold on, pal. I'm coming. Got another dedication here, this time for Vance Sorbo. Vance, I know you cheated on me with my sister Victoria. I'm coming for you. Ho ho! Alert! Alert! This is a distress call from Terracnoid Brain Ship Gamma Epsilon Epsilon Kappa! We are under attack by Valkyries and need immediate assistance! Over! Please get here as soon as you can! We're total noobs! Here we go! Great. 
saving our hides back there. See you after the convention. Thanks, distress cult. Alright, Chief. What can we do you for? The magnet launcher is ideal for incapacitating large enemies on the battlefield. Just fire a magnet at an enemy. The ionized orbs will imprison the poor goon in a deadly web of electricity, giving you a supreme tactical advantage. Now you can blow him up! I'll make your escape! The Magnet Launcher! Available only at Grummelnet! Alright, Chief. What can we do again? Terminate somewhere inside the Citadel. This calls for a classic smash and grab. <laughs> No time for game. That bolt's rusted. We're going to need some oil.
welcome back. That bolt wasn't the only thing starting to rust.
We have to find a way into the Citadel. This airship may be our ticket inside. See if you can unlock the loading platform. isn't with you, Cassiopeia. Hand over Clank and we'll cause no more trouble. <laughs> cause no more trouble, huh? Karina and Libra are dead thanks to you. And now that we've gotten what we need from the caretaker, his time has come. Valkyries, destroy the Lombaxes! She's going to kill Clank! I'm going after her! General, wait! The to our Valkyrie training course. No man has ever survived! <laughs> Farewell, Ratchet. Take solace in the fact that you never stood a chance.
how you survive a silo of deadly nerve toxin.
it. I see. Yeah, I know. Time for another death trap. Machines. How much is your boyfriend paying you to do his dirty work? Oh, I'm an amazing observation coming from some orphan doomed to spend his entire life alone. <laughs> that robot of yours is ready to kick up his little metal feet and stay in the great clock forever. Yeah, he wants to leave you, didn't you know that? I'll keep the both of you before he gets the chance. Clank! What have you done to him? Oh, nothing to what I'm about to do to you. Annoying shit, annoying shit.
destroyed. So Hello, Ratchet. <sighs> hey, pal. How you doing? Fine. You? <sighs> yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just gonna lie here for a while, though, okay? Whew. I'm sorry about your father, Clank. I should have stopped Nefarious sooner. It is all right, Ratchet. Nefarious will pay for what he has done. The only thing that matters now is that we keep the clock safe. Now, don't worry. Once the past's been corrected, you'll have the full support of the Lombax Praetorian Guard. <laughs> the clock will be in good hands. You do not understand. Time cannot be changed. Using the clock improperly could rip the very fabric of existence. Or it could save an entire race of Lombaxes who risked their lives to defend this galaxy. Ratchet, remember the Dimensionator. Some risks are not worth taking. Well, maybe Clank's right. If there's even a chance it could destroy the universe, the risk is just too great. Risk? Risk is what makes us who we are. Ratchet, our kind is lost without us. Think of how many that clock can save. Think of your parents. I'm sorry. We need to stop the barrier before he makes the same mistake we almost did. So, you coming, General? General? made some modifications to our ship.
asteroid inside the main perimeter. Come meet me as soon as you can. I have triangulated Captain Cork's position. Sinking to your nav unit now. This baby here deals maximum damage. For a fair price, of course. The Rift Inducer 5000 was created to fell the death by interdimensional being niche. The being, named Fred by our engineers, enjoys moonlight strolls along the beach, reading, and mauling unsuspecting enemies with brutal efficiency. Whoa! Look at that! Fred must be hungry! The Rift Inducer 5000, available only at Grummelnet.
I can't wait out here all night! I mean, I can, I just won't want to. There's no TV! sitting on the sidelines while everyone else marches into certain death. Sit on the sidelines? And let this baby go to waste? It's one of those cool smoke bombs the spies use. You know, for making quick and fancy getaways. Oh, forget it. Here, it's my most ingenious foolproof plan yet. The Nefarious Space Station. An impenetrable fortress fraught with danger and, uh, windows. Using my feminine wiles, I was able to convince the custodial staff to temporarily reroute the South Wing trash chute. This will be our point of entry. With the motion sensors deactivated, we should have smooth sailing into the South Wing. Harnessing eight years of high school theater workshops, I will remain undercover as the lovely Shannon. My objective will be to escort you here. Whoops. <laughs> That's a vacation picture from the Maktar Resort Single Mingle. Don't know how that got in there. I'll escort you here to a conveniently exposed thermal exhaust port. We will then endure rigorous calisthenics until we have lost enough body fat to squeeze through the port. Maybe I should handle this part of the mission. Uh, sure, that sounds quicker. Now, that port leads directly to Nefarious's personal quarters. Using the gigamorphic holoray, you'll be able to scan him and create a holographic disguise for Ratchet. With the disguise engaged, we should be able to breeze past the guards and infiltrate Mission Control, where we'll use the main security terminal to atomize every dock ship in the fleet. With Nefarious trapped like a rat and the clock safe, we can contact galactic authorities so that I may bask in the awesome glow of their admiration. All right, I have to ask, what's with the nurse's outfit? Ingenious, isn't it? It's part of an elaborate deception plan. It mostly involves a lot of hip swinging and puppy dog eyes. Well, white's certainly your color. Oh, thanks. I always fancied myself a winter. Here we are. The final showdown between good and evil. Can you smell that? That's drama, baby. I smell something, and it's definitely not drama. Hey, look on the bright side. At least we're not being squished to death by the pistons. Cover me! 
I'm about to do something impressive. Muscles aching, arms burning, calves looking good. Blockage detected in trash compactor cell 14. Shutting down compactor. That's it. Did you hear that? I did it! Ha <laughs> ha! Technology! I just made you my... That one was a little too close. The troopers will be here any moment. We need to keep moving. Ow! What's new? The maintenance sector is crawling with nefarious ghouls. This might call for a little finesse. Watch and learn. Hello there. I'm Nurse Shannon. This is Dr. Archibald von Fuzzy Pants and his robotic intern, Gundolf Metal Sprocket. Dr. Nefarious is expecting us. You are not authorized. Prepare to die, Nurse Shannon. How did they not fall for that?
Nice work. Clank, phase two is your part of the mission. Hop into the vent and head for Nefarious' office. We'll, uh, cover you from here. remaining Valkyries and retire Lord Borsalon. Number two, re-establish vendetta against organic life forms. And number three, Iron Socks. Hollow guys complete. I'm returning to the rendezvous point. Hmm. Huh. Must have forgot to tune the auto scaler. Ah, well, close enough. Try your vocal modulator. Test. Test. One, two. It works. Now, let's finish this and go home. Where are you, Lawrence? Yes, sir. You're right. Scram, you morons. Dance, you fools. Take him to the brink. Where are you, Lawrence? Good day, sir. Yes, sir, you're right. I really am quite busy, sir. What do you need? Right away, sir. Time for phase three. When we get to the hub, I'll distract the guards while you gain access to the Hypernova defense laser. Got it. How do I do that? I'm not a hundred percent on that one, but I'm sure you'll think of something. Just remember, keep it on the low, low. Avert your eyes from the exalted one. Nothing to see here. Dance, you fools. Dance, you fools. to move the asteroids with sheer mind control. Dr. Nefarious, you didn't have to come all the way over here. The hypernova defense laser is quite capable of clearing the debris. Say, would you like to test it out? The controls are yours, sir. The must be controlled by one of these workstations. Don't worry, sir. That component is
feel very close to you right now. Come on, we gotta keep moving. You know, oftentimes when I say this, it results in catastrophe, but what the hey? Mission accomplished! You're not Dr. Nefarious! <laughs> Nefarious, you can't use the clock. Nothing you could want is worth risking the universe. Oh, but there is. And I have you three to thank for it. Initiate Super Wavy Flashback Effect! Thanks to you and your dim-witted friend here, I found myself drifting through the cosmos. Have you ever spent time on an asteroid? It's surprisingly boring! Nothing for a villain to do but dwell on his failure! Then, one day, the fungoid saved us. But still, failure burned inside my circuitry! How could I have been defeated by the likes of you? Why had the universe been tipped in your favor? I embarked on a crusade to the inner recesses of what you call the soul. I studied fungoid meditation, attended anger management class, dabbled in yoga, attended more anger management class, until finally I went on a spirit walk on planet Quantos. It was here I finally found what I had been missing, the great clock! Clock under my control. I'll be able to wrong all the rights in the universe. Every villain who has ever stumbled will get a do-over. Every protagonist's triumph will be reversed. Until finally, 
a new present is created, in which the heroes always lose! <laughs> Gods! Hang on, cadets! Well, that was five bolts wasted. How do you like my Asteroid Finger 5000? I had it installed in the event I ever needed a super ironic death scenario! Nefarious, you're making a mistake! Time will tell. Bon voyage, my old nemesis! <laughs> you're just a lonely man, Lance. Boarding a lonely train on its way to Lonely Town. So help me, it's true. All aboard from Lonely Town. Choo choo, Janison. Choo choo. It appears the Sony protected us during the crash. We must not reach the park. Thanks for the help, guys. What? I'll give them back. Ratchet, we do not have a lot of time. Destroying the Armada will not keep Nefarious away from the clock for long. There's no time to contact Galactic Authorities. That means it's up to us. Come on, there's got to be a ship somewhere on this backwater planet. to hear about the historic battle of Gimlik Valley? Actually, we're trying to stop an evil mastermind from... Splendid! It all started years ago, when I was just a child. <laughs> Chief Zon Gribnak was manning his post at the Arundai outpost, when suddenly... <laughs> evil Commander Argos attacked! Desperate to protect our village, Gribnak led a team of undertrained, poorly equipped soldiers into battle. <laughs> Sadly, victory would not be theirs. <laughs> Chief Gribnak and his noble lot were captured, imprisoned, briefly pardoned, imprisoned again, and killed. The death of Zahn left us defenseless. Without him, Commander Argos laid waste to our village by destroying the Arundai floodgate. It was a crushing defeat. Zahn had been here to defend us against Argos. I guess you can't change the past. Huh. Ratchet, I believe I may have a way to help the Fongoids and give us a ride. Head to that time rift. Sigmund, come in. I need you to stabilize a time portal into the Battle of Gimlik Valley. Accessing Brigus Almanac now, sir. Got it. Stabilizing time rift in three, two, one.
Kid, we'll save him. Shelter! Your mother will be very disappointed! But this Lombax is here to help us! I'm Ratchet. This is Clank. I'm Zon. This is Toofer and Enot. Yurik, go take shelter with the others. 
We'll protect the floodgate! Commander Argos is trying to flood the valley. We have to get to the top of the floodgate. I think I have an idea. We we'll have to find some of those vine seeds. I do not un understand. How will seeds help us defeat the Agorians? Trust me.
Remember this day forever. We owe the both of you our gratitude. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Well, now that you mention it, we'd love to use that ship. Well, it might take some time to fetch it out of the creek, but when we do, it's all yours. Now, if you'll excuse us, we must tend to the other villagers. Mr. Zircon is bored.
The reenactment doesn't start until tonight. Reenactment? Well, sure! Yeah. Of the historic Battle of Gimlet Valley. It was a shining victory in fungoid history. <laughs> Say, do I know you two? You look awfully familiar. Uh, nope. First time here. And our second. <laughs> We were just admiring your Agorian space cruiser. She's perfectly restored. I was going to take her up for the show, but her batteries are dead. <laughs> I believe we may be of assistance. If we were to bring back a few battery bots, would you allow us to borrow your ship? Well, I suppose that'd be okay. So long as I got it back in time for the show. <laughs> If you find any battery bots, just toss them into these charging stations. That should power up the Versa fuses. Don't see many long boxes around here. Lawrence must have flown back here to pick up Nefarious. 
We have to get that starship before it leaves for the Great Clock. Snowball, tear him to bits for daddy! Watch it! You're back! We'll hold off the troops. You just go for Nefarious! You guys messed with the wrong war rock. Welcome to the crop. Ship. Ratchet, we must find a way down to the landing platform before he leaves the station. That's far enough, Nefarious. Step away from the transport. You! How is this possible? You should be dead! On behalf of Galactic Authorities, we hereby charge you with willful disruption of the space-time continuum. Shut down the transport and surrender quietly. Look at you. Free for the first time in years, inches from your destiny, and what do you do? Run right back to playing backpack to a squishy. You're nothing but a pathetic sidekick. We should hang out sometime. That's it. No one talks to Clank that way. When this is over, 
I'll back whatever decision you make. But first, how about one final hurrah so we can kick this guy's butt? When I'm finished killing you, I think I'll be wine time. So I can do it again. And again. And again. <laughs> Waiting a long time for this! Lawrence, fall back to the outer perimeter! Let no damage befall our ship! Falling back, sir. Happy fighting. This is too easy!
Before he takes that escape pod. Twenty seconds until impact. Clank, it's been one heck of a ride. Ratchet, come on! You're gonna have to jump. Ten seconds until impact. So, I can't talk you out of this, can I? Ratchet, we have been on many adventures, but the clock needs someone to protect it. It is what I was built for. Wait, so that's it? What about the Lombaxes? They're not in danger, they've just moved on. And we'll find them. But the past stays where it is. Come on, pal. I'll walk you in. You were never a sidekick. You do know that, right? I always thought that you were the sidekick. <laughs> Where are you going? This is your responsibility. You can't just walk away. The Lombaxes need us! Don't walk away from me! I said stop! Much like time itself is a gift, a 
and not to be tampered with. Are you kidding me? You think I'd leave my best pal out here alone? Your father went to great lengths to protect this room from those who would abuse it. I wouldn't risk any more than six minutes. Six minutes? Dimensionators! This is 
is our only chance! You know that! It's my job to save the kid!
Why isn't it working? Because it's not a time machine, Alistair! The clock isn't meant to alter time, only keep it! Thirty seconds until a total system failure. So sorry. No. Let me. What are you gonna do? Take care of yourself, Roger. He did a brave thing, Ratchet. You should be proud of him. Well, looks like there's just one more thing to fix. Timekeeper restored. I'll leave you two alone. Take care of yourself, pal. I cannot stay. I am sorry, but discovering my family has made me realize that I cannot leave Ratchet. Not until he finds his own. I hope you understand. You're leaving? Energy output normal. Harmonic stabilizers stable. Why aren't I freaking out? Perhaps you are ready to be promoted. Senior? Caretaker? Yahoo! Thank you, sir. Take care, Sigmund. The clock, much like time itself, is a gift, and not to be tampered with. But like any father, my only wish is that my son does that which makes him feel whole. You are an intelligent and logical being, Clank. But intelligence and logic would have been wasted gifts without honor and loyalty. I am proud to see you came into those on your own. So, should the clock be too small for your plans, I pray the cosmos light the way towards a future you yourself design. And remember, the universe has a wonderful sense of humor. The trick is learning how to take a joke. <laughs> Celebrity in need of assistance! What's that, Snowball? Little Jimmy fell down a well? Oh, you're hungry for blood. Oh, I was way off. Let me just... Oh, boy, this is bad. Uh, little help here. Ratchet! Clank! Elga! Anyone? Nice Snowball. Nice Snowball. Down, Snowball! Hey, hey, hey! Easy on the goods! Ratchet, space rat! Your path is far from over! For you see, the most horrifying truth is yet to be revealed! My dear Lombax, I am your father's accountant! Did that do it? Did that sufficiently blow your mind? Let that just roll around for a bit. Oh, now, come, find me in the Corvus Sector, and let us end what we began! Forcelon, out! Forcelon! 
Warlock? Warlock, is that you? Oh, you're not Warlock. It's hopeless. No way I'll be able to meet him without attracting attention from the other Valkyries. Not unless... Not unless you tow me. Then they'll just think my ship needs repair. Oh, thank you. Sending coordinates to your ship now. I really appreciate this. The other Valkyries wouldn't understand, seeing as how we met on the Holonet and all. The Holonet, huh? Just out of curiosity, do you know what he looks like, this warlock? Only from his avatar. About six two, blonde hair, bulging biceps, and the most amazing smile you've ever seen. Why do you ask? Eh, no reason. Warning. Warning. Hostile ships detected. I'm Kip Darling. And I'm Pepper Fairbanks. Tinseltown is fuming this morning over the release of a Hola recording stolen from the set of My Blaster Runs Hot. The recording depicts action star and former superhero Copernicus Quark in a somewhat unfavorable light, prompting many enraged fans to boycott its release. Pepper, our station manager has just informed me that we've attained a copy of the Meltdown. But I must warn everyone, the record. Is that you, Warlock? <laughs> it's me, Snooky Bear. Won't the Valkyries be angry with you for meeting me here? I don't care what anyone thinks. My weapons are still armed. I can make it look like an accident. That's okay, Aphelion. Let's go. That is one smooth groove. And now here's one so smooth that
Oh yeah, now that was cool. We got another block of jams on the way. But first, we gotta pay a few bills. Deep Space Jams will be right back. On the backwater planet of Felden, little Timmy O'Shea was just the new boy in school. Aw, none of the kids at school talk to me. They all think I'm here. Don't you think I am no man, son? I am uneducated. But then, while expressing his rebellious angst via interpretive dance, Timmy stumbled upon an unlikely companion. Whoa, a war cry.
You need something split? Yeah. Attention Battleplex patrons! The Raritanium Pump is now available for outright crazy... Welcome these gladiators! So if you looked in the mirror this morning and thought, Wow! I have left sanity be behind! Head to the arena entrance! Fresh meat. 
designed as a party gag by bored Grummelnet engineers. Simply point it at the poor slug you want to transform and pull the trigger. Presto! Instant monkeyfication! The chimpo -matic. Available only at Grummelnet.
When this thing is built, it'd be best if we didn't discuss the matter again. Galactic authorities would throw us both in Zordoom just for looking at it. Now stand back. I present to you the Rhino-5, the most powerful weapon in the known universe. You be careful with this thing now. It packs a heck of a punch. The Rhino 5! Simply put, this is the deadliest weapon in the known universe. There's only one strategy with this one. Squeeze the trigger! After that, it's clean up on aisle 3! The Rhino 5! Guaranteed to rip you a new one! restored to planet Jacindu. Huh? 
warning. Quantum stabilizers offline. Time system vulnerable. Malfunction detected in Deck 9 Particle Accelerator. Running diagnostic. Detected in antimatter turbine 8. Repeat, blockage detected in antimatter turbine 8. entity has failed. Omni temporal recording initiated. Entity has 
Transmitters coming online in three. Temporal recording initiated. Seconds remaining. Antimatter turbine eight. With five seconds remaining. Turbine eight. <laughs> Temporal recording initiated. 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 Temporal recording initiated.
Temporal recording initiated. Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Temporal recording initiated. How many theoretical physicists specializing in general relativity does it take to change a light bulb? Two. One to hold the bulb and one to rotate the entire universe. <laughs>
Temporal recording initiated. Ten seconds remaining. on planet Fastoon. Temporal ribbon impact. Operators coming online, temporal normality restored to planet Fastoon. My blaster runs hot. Let's do this. Hop, hop, hop. Ninja, jump. Ninja, jump. Hop, hop, hop. Hot, hot, hot. Take five. I'm starting to cramp up. Crouching, kick and chop. And silly as hell, Hanna! Hop, hop, hop! Revive me! Slate with steel! Back in action! I'll save you, Sickerson! Hop, hop, hop! Hot, hot, hot! It's payback time! Bring it on, evil robots! Hop, hop, hop! Revive me! We've got company! Hot, hot, hot! Hot. These graphics really don't do my ass justice. That baby's in trouble! Consider yourself alive! 
this dramatic. Yeah, it's kind of his shtick. All right, Vorsalon, let's end this once and for all. Thank <laughs> you. 